please stand and join in our entrance hymn, found in your blue St. Michael hymnals, number 606. Lift high the cross, number 606. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Peace be with you. And with your spirit. My, oh my, my brother bishops and priests and deacons, dear sisters, and dear grateful and happy parishioners on this uh, jubilee of this great parish of St. Dennis. Uh, what a joy and an honor it is for me to be here with you. Thank you. Thank you for the invitation. Every Mass, right? The greatest act of thanksgiving that we have. This evening has a particular fervor to it as we celebrate 125 years of this magnificent parish so that we might praise God even better. We call to mind our sins and ask for the mercy of Jesus. Lord Jesus, he came to heal a contrite heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ Jesus, he came to call sinners. Christ have mercy. Christ have mercy. Lord Jesus, you are seated at the right hand of the Father to spin to see for us. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us. Forgive us our sins and bring us all to life everlasting. Amen. Let us pray. O oh God, who sent St. Denis and his companions to preach your glory to the nation of France and strengthen them for their mission with the virtue of constancy in their suffering, with, may, grant, we pray, that we may imitate them in disdaining prosperity in this life and in being undaunted by any trial through our Lord, Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. 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 
A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. How beautiful upon the mountains are the feet of him who brings glad tidings, announcing peace, bearing good news, announcing salvation, and saying to Zion, your God is king. Hark, your sentinels raise a cry. Together they shout for joy. For they see directly before their eyes the Lord restoring Zion. Break out together in song, O ruins of Jerusalem. For the Lord comforts his people. He redeems Jerusalem. The Lord has bared his holy arm in the sight of all the nations. All the ends of the earth will behold the salvation of our God. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. A reading from the first letter of Peter. Even if you should have to suffer for justice's sake, happy will you be. Fear not and do not stand in awe of what this people fears. Venerate the Lord, that is, Christ in your hearts. Should anyone ask you the reason for this hope of yours, be ever ready to reply but speak gently and respectfully. Keep your conscience clear so that whenever you are defamed, those who libel your way of life in Christ may be disappointed. If it should be God's will that you suffer, it is better to do so for good deeds than for evil ones. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God.
be with you. And with and your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, Lord. Jesus said to all, if anyone wishes to come after me, he must deny himself, take up his cross daily, and follow me. For whoever wishes to save his life will lose it. But whoever loses his life for my sake will save it. What profit is there for one to gain the whole world, yet lose or forfeit himself? Whoever is ashamed of me and of my words, the Son of Man will be ashamed of when he comes in his glory, and in the glory of the Father and all the holy angels. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Lost be Christ. Well, everybody, happy anniversary. You don't look bad at all for 125. <laughs> Not bad at all. Congratulations. What a, what a great parish you've got. What a joyful occasion to come together on this, your patronal feast day, the uh, Feast of St. Dennis, to thank Almighty God for 125 years. Uh, what a great turnout we've got of people and of bishops, priests, and deacons. we got more bishops, priests, and deacons here than a Notre Dame football game. This is something. <laughs> And this mass is so important to me that I passed up free tickets to a city field to go to the Mets uh, oh. playoff game tonight. But I'd rather be with you all, okay? okay. Uh, just, uh, I got signs coming during mass as to the score. It was one to nothing, the Mets were down when I got out of the car, but that was 15 or so minutes ago. Bishop Dominic, good to see you. You were pastor here. Hallelujah, isn't it good to have Bishop Dominic back? I have often heard him speak. You know what he liked, what he loved about this parish? I wish I could say it was you, but he loved the porch on the rectory. He loved that. He always speaks of that. But, so you did a good job here, though, Bishop. Thank you. And Bishop Colachico, you were pastor just down the block, of course, and now you're the vicar up here in this area, so we're really Happy you are here. This is like a Mount Rushmore of farmer pastors, isn't it? Here at the, look who, who well, we got uh, Father Joseph McLafferty, who's our, uh, our dean up here. Thank you, Father Joseph, for coming. Father Nelson, you do such a great job with the Spanish Mass uh, here on Sunday. I know you're up in Kingston, but you're a real apostle. So thank you, Father, for being here. Father Cosgrove, you were a pastor here as well, right? As Bishop Dominic uh, loved the porch, uh, Father Cosgrove loved that trailer that he lived in <laughs> when you first arrived, that IBM trailer that served as the offices. Uh, and Father Propora, how gratefully and lovingly the folks remember you. And of course, Father Mike McLaughlin, the pastor down at Yankee Stadium down the road. So we're glad you are here too. You're blessed, you're blessed with good deacons. You really are. I'm so grateful to be in their company this evening. And you're blessed with uh, two great priests here, Father Carozza and Father Peter. What good shepherds you are. And special thanks to you. <laughs> Father Carozza brags about you all. He loves you very much. And he speaks about the enthusiasm, the friendliness, uh, the generosity, the participation of so many good people here at St. Dennis, and that goes a long way. And when I read the little history that was so colorful, uh, I thought this, this, there's been something, something, I was gonna say magical, that's not a good word, something mystical uh, going on here from the beginning with the devotion of you people here to your parish from day one. I would suggest, of course, that the, uh, that the example in the intercession of St. Dennis, your patron, has something to do with it. This is, of course, his feast day. It's interesting, earlier this morning, in one of my meetings, 
I had a gentleman from France come in to speak to me who's in charge of the restoration of Notre Dame in Paris. Uh, and they, the Archbishop of Paris was kind enough to invite me to the rededication on December 8th, and I hoped to go. But of course he was, I said, hey, I'm going to Saint-Denis. That's what the French would call it. That's all the French I know. I'm going, I said, I'm going to Saint-Denis, St. Denis Parish tonight. And he, he just, he said, ah, he of course was the first Bishop of Paris. You all knew that, right? <laughs> Father Carozzo would remind you that he was Italian. All right. <laughs> St. Denis was Italian, and he was sent by the Holy Father to France early, early, early in the third century, very early. And of course, he and his companions set up a church in the Seine River, which is now where Notre Dame stands. And of course, he was martyred uh, uh, on Mount Mart, where the, the great... Uh, uh, Sacre Coeur is today Mount Mart, which is a sacred spot for the French, the, the Hill of Martyrs, Mount Mart. You know the story, right? Um, you know the legend is that he was beheaded. He, lo he lost his head out of love for Jesus. He was beheaded, but he then, the legend goes, you know it, right? He picked up his head and walked to the monastery, which is where he's buried now, the Church of Saint Denis in Paris. They venerate him there as the first bishop of Paris. So I don't know, maybe some of you kids might get a good uh, idea for Hall a Halloween outfit now with, uh, <laughs> with Saint Denis carrying his head in his hands. Let, the legends, of course, are many and they increase our devotion. But folks, here's, here's my message tonight. You're, you're our forefathers and foremothers in the faith that established this beautiful parish they did the same thing St. Saint, Saint Dennis did. They kind of were sent here, your first priests, the sisters, the people, and they said, uh, hey, we need to bring Jesus and his teaching and his gospel and his church and his sacraments and his love. We need, we need to bring them here. And they did it. They did it from the first moment of the iron ore mines with the Irishman uh, who uh, struck a pretty lucky and became rather wealthy and donated the land for the first church. On and on and on. It, I, so Father Carozza and I were speaking, it's a little difficult to keep straight all the different locations where the churches were, but you know, who cares what it was? It's the same motive, it's the same energy, it's the same enthusiasm and zeal that animated Saint Denis, your patron, Saint Denis, to come here and bring Jesus and his church and the sacraments. So for 125 years, it's been going on. <coughs> it's been going on. The sacraments, the baptisms, the Eucharist, the marriages, the burials, the anointing of the sick, the confessions. My, oh my, the teaching, the handing on the faith, the, the evangelization and the welcome, the charity, the outreach. That's what St. Denis brought to Paris, and that's what's been happening here at Saint Denis for 125 years. We always think this, we, tonight we're kind of thinking back a century and a quarter, uh, but we always think of Jesus Christ the same yesterday, today, and tomorrow, as St. Paul taught. Jesus Christ the same yesterday, today, and tomorrow. Ah, a lot of stuff changes. A lot of stuff changes. He never does. He's with us all days, even to the end of the world, and not even the gates of hell will prevail against his church, although folks take my word for it, they sure try, all right? And it doesn't happen. It doesn't happen. You know St. Denis is venerated as a martyr, right? He was beheaded for the faith by enemies of the faith. And you know the word martyr was that Greek word for a witness. He was a witness to the faith. He said, hey, my life in this world is not that important. I want to give witness, I am a witness, to the power of the cross and resurrection of Jesus. And darn it, those witnesses, those martyrs, that's what the word means, even not to the point of blood, have been part of this parish family for 125 years. Sisters, it's, it's good to see you. So many of you have been here for a while. I think we've even got some second and third generation parishioners. You, this church, this parish, all of you are witnesses like St. Dennis. Hey, 
Jesus Christ is real. Jesus Christ lives. Jesus Christ teaches. Jesus Christ saves in and through his church and the sacraments, the faith, the hope, the love, and the prayer, the worship of his people. Boy, that's been going on here forever. Now we think of the past gratefully, all the people who've gone before us. We're happy in the present, as I see all of you smiling and so grateful this evening. And we don't forget the future because folks in the church, the best is always yet to come, all right? The best is yet to come, yes, because he will come again at the end of time, so the best is yet to come. But the days ahead we got before us, and I ask you this, I always give this little challenge at a parish uh, uh, jubilee like we're having here tonight. We're grateful, we're grateful to the folks that came before us, the folks that kind of did the work and established the foundation. We're grateful to those generations that have kept this parish strong and welcoming, the priests, the sisters, the people, the deacons. Ask yourself, for the 150th anniversary, I probably won't be here, okay? Many of our servers will, I hope. In 25 years, where those people think back on us with the same gratitude with which we have for those who came before us, I reckon they will as I hear your pastor speak of you. I reckon they will, as I'm aware of the history of God's grace and mercy at this parish. I reckon in 25 years when they come back, they're gonna say, maybe the Mets will have won by then, that when they, when they come back in a quarter century, they're gonna say, thanks be to God. Thanks be to Jesus Christ the same yesterday, today, and tomorrow. Thanks be to God for St. Dennis the first bishop of Paris, our patron. And thanks be to God for those good folks that came before us. Congratulations. <clears throat> Let us pray. Well, we've been doing it for 125 years. We don't stop tonight trusting in our Heavenly Father's love for us. We present to him our needs. For Francis, our Pope, Timothy, Cardinal Dolan, our Archbishop, his assistant bishops, and all the clergy, that they will always remain steadfast, proclaiming the gospel of Christ to our world. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, for our nation, that we will always be one nation under God. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the safety of all people who are past the Hurricane Milton, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who are sick or homebound, and for all our deceased loved ones, especially those buried in the St. Dennis Cemetery, that they will enjoy the eternal peace of the loving embrace of Christ, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And for all those intentions we hold within our hearts, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We ask the powerful intercession of Our Lady, Queen of the Most Holy Rosary, during this month of October dedicated to her, of St. Dennis, our patron, of St. Patrick, the patron of the Archdiocese, as we make our prayers through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen.
pray now that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, our Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice in your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the of his holy church. Receive, Heavenly Father, the offerings we bring in commemoration of St. Dennis and his companions, the holy martyrs, and grant that we, your servants in this parish dedicated to him, may be found steadfast in confessing your holy name through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. <coughs> Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Heavenly Father, Almighty and Eternal God, you are glorified when your saints are praised. Their very sufferings are but wonders of your might. In your mercy, you give ardor to their faith. To their endurance, you grant firm resolve. And in their struggle, the victory is yours through Christ our Lord. Amen. Therefore, all creatures of heaven and earth sing a new song in adoration. As, and we, with all the hosts of angels in heaven, cry out, and without end we acclaim. sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, take this all of you and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection. We offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, and Timothy, our bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also your, our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles, St. Dennis, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, 
we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Jesus, our Savior, taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you, look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other a sign of peace. Peace to you. I'm glad you're here. Thank God. Peace down. Sure glad you're here. Way to go. Hallelujah. Good to be with you. Peace, Andrew. Great job you do. Right, Reverend Dean. Congratulations. Peter, what a good job you do. Nelson, La Paz, siempre. Real way to go. Way to go. Beats New City, doesn't it? <laughs> Peace be with you. takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I'm not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed.
Let us pray. O oh God, who in your holy martyrs, St. Dennis, our patron, and his companions, have wondrously made known the mystery of your cross, graciously grant that drawing strength from this sacrifice of their example, this parish dedicated to him may continue to cling faithfully to Christ, laboring within his church for the salvation of all, through Christ our Lord. Amen. Father. Yes, please be seated for a moment. Your Eminence, uh, everything you said in your homily is absolutely true. I do love being the pastor of St. Dennis, and every day here as their pastor, I grow to love and see them more and more uh, the beautiful gift that God has given to this area over 125 years, and the generosity of the people here and their love, the true disciples that they're trying to be for the Lord. Mm -hmm. I am grateful for that, and I'm also grateful to you for trusting me to be your representative here. I always say it's kind of hard to welcome the Cardinal here because technically he's the Bishop and I only represent him here so on Sunday. So um, I'm glad he is with us today. So he's taking his rightful place that I only represent every Sunday. But I'm grateful that you've uh, chosen me to serve the people here at St. Dennis. I know I stand following the footsteps of giants of priests and pastors who have come before me and have done so many wonderful things. I hope I'll be able to live up to the tradition that they have set before me. So I thank God every day, not only for these people, but that you've entrusted me to be the pastor and for that gift to me. And I'm asking you to give us one more gift for a gift that we have received, which is right behind you. We have the beautiful painting. Yes, of the, I noticed that. And I remember Greenhaven. Where, yes. Yes. Well, the, the uh, the people at Greenhaven, the uh, St. Paul's Chapel at Greenhaven donated uh, this painting to us. And so you know, following Pope Benedict's desire to have more sacred art reintroduced in church, so they gave it to us. And we're wondering if you could honor us today and bless it for I'd us. I'd be honored. When, when, uh, when, did they gift or, when did they give it to you? How long ago was it? Uh, a year ago, just okay. after Easter a Is year ago. Is that tremendous? I was going to have it blessed at the beginning. I had asked Bishop Colachico when he opened our 125th to do it. And guess what? I completely forgot to ask him uh, at the Mass. Listen, I'm uh, glad so you did. Maybe it was meant for the Cardinal to bless I'm glad him. you did. I'll be honored. I have a great devotion to the prison apostolate. And, uh, there, was Father Donovan here? Was that the so they they would they would so gratefully remember him? So I thought yes, that, it was from an endowment that he left wow. that his family approved. This before they did, they asked his family members that are surviving him if he would approve of having this bought for us here and a smaller version for he Saint Paul. He was Paul's. green stamps, the man, right? Was he that built the chapel with the green stamps? He did, yes. Yeah, you know that story. National. This had to be what fifty years ago, if not longer, longer. So he was chaplain, they needed a new chapel at the prison. He had a national campaign. Remember the old green stamps, you old timers would remember? Yeah. <laughs> I remember my mom getting them. If you filled a book, it was $2.50. Every time she did, we need, she was pregnant, we needed a new baby carriage. But anyway, <laughs> <coughs> so the, the nation came through with the green stamps and they got enough money to build the chapel. So boy, oh boy, what, I'm so glad you've got that there. Did he live here, or was he? He lived, he lived, he lived, in, the he lived in the rectory and then took care of the prison there. What, how beautiful. Can I bless it? Absolutely, please, uh, if excellent. you would be so kind okay. to. Holy Water, Deacon Walter. The Holy Water's there. Let's do it, everybody. You don't mind. I was, you saw me admiring it during Mass. Yes. And I, yeah, okay. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Through the intercession. Through the intercession of our Blessed Mother, the Queen of the Martyrs, all the martyrs and saints, especially St. Dennis and his companions and St. Patrick, our patron, may Almighty God bless this image and may Almighty God bless the people who venerate it, whose souls and hearts and minds are lifted up to the Lord in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. <coughs> Excellent. Way to go. Okay. That was an honor. Thank you. Thank you. Of course, parishioners, you can be seated. You know I'm not done yet. <laughs> Your Eminence, that it's actually real oil on canvas. So well, I hope it doesn't run. No, <laughs> no, it's <laughs> water. But it's actually real oil on canvas reproduction of wow. it. So I was very grateful to St. Paul's Chapel for providing it for us. And we have a gift we'd like to give to you today as a, from the people of St. Dennis. Give me this? No. <laughs> but something nice. Let's see. We have a few items here Let's that we'd see. like to give you. Um, Thank you. And maybe our dean would help us. 
I'll try, to, I'll try to yell loud so you can hear me. You know I have a big voice. Pardon me if I show you what we're giving you. I want to see you. <laughs> Must be small. <laughs> 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 that was it? <laughs> number one. <laughs> On, behind curtain number one. Uh -huh. Um, our children in the religious education program have all painted rocks with spiritual themes on it that we're placing around the, you know, the property, and they created one for, for you with your name on it in St. Dennis. I'll treasure Parish, that. Which they I'll want you to have. That. Thank you. Oh, we have a our shawl minister, shawl, a prayer yes. shawl ministry. That some ladies who come every week who hand make shawls Thank to you. give to the homebound. We give them to people whenever we anoint them, and they're blessed, and they have a miraculous medal with them. And we're presenting one that they have made to you, that I if will, you know somebody who could use it, give it to them. I will appreciate it. If you want to use it yourself, you may use it yourself. When I'm, when I'm not in off during meetings, I'll put that around <laughs> me. Thank you. Thank you. Knowing it came from, from the ladies of the parish makes it special. And, and then a specific St. Dennis memorial we have for you is a tile, a, oh. a hand-painted tile for you of the martyrdom of St. Dennis. Oh my, okay. they're okay. So it's imported from Italy. So Beautiful. Um, you can, we hopefully that you'll, every time you see it, you'll think of well, the parish great. up here. You bet I will. Father, thank you. Thank you very much, everybody. I'll treasure those. You're the gift. <laughs> uh, one final word of announcement. We do have a reception up at the parish hall afterwards. His eminence will meet everybody up there. So if you'd like to greet him afterwards, uh, come up to the reception hall. So uh, the cardinal will come and uh, take his vestments off and they go right up there. So we'll yeah, feel please there. free to come up and see the wonderful spread that Aldi Donato especially put together for I'll us today. I'll buy you a beer. All right, come on up. We'll get the Mets game on. Father, thank you for being a good shepherd with Father Peter. From, from Ghana, Father? Thank you. Thanks be to God. Thanks be to God we have you. Way to go. You people are great. There's nothing I enjoy more than being with the parish when they're celebrating their jubilee. So, and what a beautiful thought of having it during the week on the feast day. Way to go. I like it. The Lord be with you. Jesus Christ, the same yesterday, today, and tomorrow through the intercession of his holy mother, through the intercession of his apostles, the intercession of his martyrs, especially St. Dennis, the intercession of St. Patrick. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The Mass is ended. Go in peace. Thanks be to God. Sir, servers and choir, appreciate it. Brother Knights, it's good to have you here with us. Thanks for all you do. Let's go in peace. Salve Regina, Mater Misericordiae, Vita Luce, Suspirados, genentes et fuentes, in hoc lacrimarum vale. Egerendum advocata nostra, illos tuos misericordes oculos ad nos converte. Sessional hymn, back in your blue St. Michael hymnals, number 553. Five, Holy God, we praise thy name, number 553. <laughs>
you go, everybody. Thank you.